While our own Jaime Rivera has produced a full overview on the G6, we wanted to take a quick, closer look at the display on this bad boy. Considering the 5.7-inch diagonal, the overall footprint feels surprisingly small in the hand. Over previous G-Series phones, the extra real estate comes from making the screen taller, specifically delivering a 2880 by 1440 resolution display, which is a 2x1 aspect ratio, or 18x9, or even a 34,000 by 17,000 aspect ratio, all the same thing really when you reduce your fractions. Now the corners of this phone have an almost Battlestar Galactica vibe happening, and LG reps claim that this curve will help disperse the force of an impact if you happen to drop it on a corner. I probably won't be the one to do that kind of drop test. The display comes ready for HDR content supporting both HDR10 and Dolby Vision, and will be compatible with content produced by Netflix and Amazon. With this 2x1 display, it makes split-screening apps a pair of perfect squares. Uh, okay, your navigation dock cuts into one of those squares, but we see LG is trying to make use of that extra display. Apps and services are expanded to improve the quality of information delivered. There's more room for multitasking, and the LG camera app makes fun use of that screen height. LG has historically led the way in putting bigger screens in smaller phone bodies. Though rumors are pointing to some other manufacturers which might deliver phones with similar screen size experiments. In our initial use, the G6 delivered some subtle benefits to camera capture. We really like the amount of info you can keep when in split screen mode, but video playback was a bit funky. For whatever reason, we're totally comfortable with letterboxing on phone screens, but pillar boxing looks a bit out of place. Also, if you're rocking a stumpy thumb like mine, a taller display makes the notification shade more of a reach. So, what do you think of LG's experiment here? Will LG lead the way on a new aspect ratio standard? Drop us a comment down below and let's see if we can strike up a conversation on ergonomics. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more MWC 2017 videos like these and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram. And I will catch you all on the next review.